What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rasheed, and I have my lovely assistant with me today. Hey, y'all. What's up? This is Erica. So today, what I'm going to do is put Erica through a workout, mm -hmm. somewhat of a total body, but we're going to focus on squats and lower body for the most part. Um, check out her form, make sure I'm going to correct anything that's not proper, and we're going to go from there, building a solid foundation. I believe that the foundation of your physique and your training should start with the squats, okay? I am and I have launched my own private online training. So if y'all are interested in that, MikeRasheedTraining.com. Um, so I'll be giving you guys a lot more content of me training people. Training is my foundation. I've done it for years. I love it. Um, I don't do it every day anymore, but I still do it online. And um, once in a blue, I'll come out and put somebody through some workouts, all right? So anyway, I hope y'all enjoy. Subscribe, like, comment, <laughs> comment. share, all that good shit, all right? And I got you. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with squats. What I need to see first is you squatting the bar so I can check out your form. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you probably have really tight hips, mm -hmm. right? Do you stretch? I do, sometimes, though, not, okay. not consistently. So you need to stretch more. But I can see that you have tight hips, but I'm gonna show you how to open up your gait. Y'all pay attention to this. Um, let me get in here. Okay. So what you wanna do with your squat is you always start at your hips, okay? okay. So squatting, a lot of y'all, a lot of people think they just go down, but no, you'll destroy your knees like that. You. It's, it's your hips, it's your knees, it's your ankles, and you start at your hips. You break here. So to start a squat is right here first, okay? So boom, you're shifting your weight back to your heels. That's where you want the weight to be. Boom, and you're also pushing your knees out, okay? So boom, you see my knees kind of flared out a little bit. Boom, it's helping me open up nice and deep. Wow, explode up. You push your knees out, it's going to push in as you come up. It helps, gives you a little bit more momentum and explosiveness coming up, okay? So this is what I want you to try. You take a deep breath in, right? It's called a big chest. Boom. Keep your head straight up. Come down nice and easy. Boom. Right? Blow it out as you come up and explode up, all right? Nice and powerful. But remember, hips back. Like you're sitting in a chair, okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it without the weight, without the bar first. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, keep, gotta keep going a little deeper. Good, a little deeper. Nice, that was better. The reason you wanna go below parallel is because you, you, I'm sure you've seen people half squatting with a lot of weight. Yeah. Like, ah, ah, whatever. Your quads are, everybody's quads are stronger, okay? They're not activating your hamstrings and your glutes. Mm -hmm. You don't get that until you break parallel because your ass has to be strong enough to push you up as well as your hamstrings. And when you get below parallel, that's when all of that start activating. Down here, boom, that's what's driving you up. That's everybody's sticking point. That's the most difficult for everybody because Nobody want to go where, where it's difficult, you know what I mean? Yeah. It feels uncomfortable, it's scary, but you just got to attack it, attack the bully. You want to practice the right way. Even when there's no weight, you come up like you got a lot of weight on your back. A little deeper, sit into it. Don't come up till I tell you. Down, 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 up. Go, I don't know. Down, 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 up. Okay, let's try it with the bar now. I remember, break at the hips first. Okay. Sit back like you're sitting in a chair. Your weight is on your heels. Okay. Nice. Oh, good. That was a lot better. Explode up. Good. Okay, you shift it forward just a little bit. Imagine there's a wall right here. Okay. And y'all can do this at home. You can actually squat in front of a wall and just try not to let your face run into the wall. Okay, go. Yep, yep, yep. Stay there, stay there. Up, down, down. Nice. A lot better. Do a few more. 
get comfortable down in that pocket a little deeper. Up. I want to see you more explosive coming up though. Up. Push the knees out. Nice. Okay. All right, you go right here. Here's, here's what's very important. Y'all out there listening at home too. Um, you don't want to, a lot of times people will get strong doing it the wrong way, mm -hmm. right? And it's hard to break that habit. But the sooner you can catch yourself and reset and start working on it, the better. So you got to forget what you know at right. a certain point. Because it's best to do it the right way. You'll prevent injuries. You get stronger. You'll look better and all of that. So, but biggest thing is you will prevent injuries doing it the right way. People think squatting is bad for your knees. It's not. It's good for your knees. When people are going through rehabilitation for, for, with their knees and all of that kind of stuff, the, the, the main thing they have them doing is squats. It may not be with weight or a lot of weight, but they're doing squats. That's the most functional movement there is, just sitting down and standing up. Yeah. So they got to do it the right way. All right? Okay. All right, so we're going to start very light. We'll put a 10 on each side, 65 pounds, and we'll go from there and see what you got. Okay. I can tell the difference when you're pushing your legs. Yeah, in. what do you feel? What do you feel different? So, usually I feel like pain in my back, kind of, because I'm like, like yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's the difference. It feels a lot more comfortable. Okay. Already, she's still, <laughs> she's cured. <laughs> <laughs> Very important to even when the weight is light, you push it up like you got 500 pounds on your back. Right. Just be explosive. I say this all the time. Practice don't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Okay. So if you kind of lifting it half like lackadaisically mm -hmm. when it's light, you're gonna do that when it's heavy, and you're not gonna be able to get those heavy lifts. Okay. Right. okay. So you want to like practice always coming up powerful and explosive, even especially when it's light. Um, I have a little method to my madness. It's somewhat <laughs> like a pyramid, but not like the traditional pyramid, okay? okay? I like to get the benefits of power. Like, for power, when building power, you train heavy. To like build, sculpt, you kind of lighten it and you hit more reps. But you, usually people lighten it a lot. I don't like to lighten it a lot. I like to trick the, the nervous system with something heavy and then kind of come down mm -hmm. and beast out. So you'll learn all of that. Y'all learn all of that. Whoever, whoever wants me to train them will learn that. So right now we're going to do five reps. Okay. Yeah. Nice and easy, just like, just like you did before. Just handle it. Okay. Next time, mm -hmm. when you step out, try to take no more than two steps. Okay. One, two, nice and stable, okay? Nope, that was not acceptable. Get nice and deep, come on. There you go, up. One, good. Nice and deep. Nice. Two, good. Three, good, a little deeper this time. A little bit. I'm right here with you. Don't worry. Oop. Good. Nice. Four. One more. Nice and deep. Come on. Right here with you. Don't worry. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got you. There you go. Good. Nice. See, listen. That was very uncomfortable, right? Yes. It was hard. It's supposed to be hard. When they're easy, you're not getting nothing out of that. Right. It's just getting you ready for the hard reps. So that's 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 what I wanted you to experience. Those struggle reps. I don't want to see every every worker you just breezing through it. Right. You're not getting much out of that. Okay. Good set though. Take a breather. No huh? That last one was no joke. Yeah. 
gonna throw a little bit more weight on this one. As long as you got me. Huh? I said as long as you got me. I got you, don't worry. Two steps, one, two. Spread your feet a little wide, get them right where you need them. Nice and solid. That's good. Come on, don't be scared, nice and deep. Up. Nice. <laughs> Right. One more, one more, one more. You got another one in you. Come on. Up. Drive, drive, drive. Keep going, keep going. Excellent. Good. Nice. Good work, good work. Look, when you feel like you can't get it, keep driving on. Because it's dangerous for your whoever's spotting you if you just let go. Okay? So I'll get you, don't worry. But just keep pushing. What it is is your central nervous system ain't used to this weight at that depth. So you're training it to get familiar with it, right? But you gotta push through it so it can adapt to know to make sure it gets the next time. Cause look, heavy weight, it's all relative. If this is heavy weight for you. You're getting a, a fight or flight response in your body. That's what it is. Yeah. Your body just, it, it, it's identifying a threat. Like, yo, get this heavy shit off of me. I gotta get up. So you're not being able to do it. Your body don't wanna do that. It wants to survive. So. It's preparing you that for the next time you feel that threat, you're able to get away from it. Got it. Hence, lift the weight up. You know what I mean? The body don't know, oh, it's just exercise, it's cool. It just know, it thinks it's a threat. What we're gonna do now is we're going down the pyramid. So this is gonna be a baby pyramid. So we're just getting started. Like, I'm not, I'm not, listen y'all, I'm not gonna just throw you to the lions and just out the gate. I wanna properly prepare you and get your foundation solid first. And then you're fighting the lions. Going the lion Let's handle it. Two steps back, nice and solid. Let's get it. Up. Good. Alright, perfect. Perfect execution. Up. Two. Good. Excellent. Three. Good. Up. Six. So fatality set, this is a burnout out on squats. It's 20 reps, all right? So this is what I want you to do though. I don't want you to lock out at the top. I want you to get proper depth, but when you come up, typically you come up, like you, you go down, boom. No, you're gonna down, bah, bah, okay? So you can maintain momentum and keep that tension on your quads, all right? So I'll stand behind you and I'll cue you. So as soon as you get close to like locking out, You'll feel my hands just like, no. So as soon as you feel me, go right back down, right back down, all right? And don't like think about it, just rep out swimming. Cause when you stop, then your brain realizes what your body doing, like, yo, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You wanna bang it out, bang it out, all right? You ready? You sure? You got no. this? Uh, no? You wanna quit? No, I don't quit. All right, that's what I'm talking about, let's get it. Five, deeper. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. A little deeper. Ten. Come on. Eleven. Come on. Twelve. Work for it. Work for it. Come on. You're almost there. Thirteen. Fourteen. You, you got six more. I ain't gonna let you quit. Let's go. You right there. Fifteen. Sixteen. You're almost there. Let's go. 17, three more, that's nothing. 18, last two, last two. 19, no mas. Easy fucking one. Noise. Oh my god. Yeah. Good shit, good shit. You gotta be able to hit a certain level of intensity because when you're doing what's comfortable, you're not really doing shit. Right. You're doing things that you're efficient at, your body has no reason to change, right? So when you're pushing yourself, you raising that ceiling a little more and a little more, it's hard, it's difficult, like you're sweating, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's when you start changing, you're starting to, to adapt, okay? So that's why these fatality sets, 
these finishers or whatever are very important, especially in how I train, because that's the time when you're really getting tapping into that. Fuck, my body's like, yeah. it's like, what the fuck is going on here? You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, with the Smith, uh, the Smith machine. So you're just gonna do five reps. Five reps on one, one side, five reps on the other, and then we're gonna try to do five reps again on the, one side and then on the other. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I feel honored. You're in the presence of greatness. <laughs> Captain America Pants <laughs> is here. Captain America Pants. In the flesh. Savage. Savage. Salute, sir. <laughs> I fucks with you, homie. We return you now to your regularly scheduled goblet squats is going to help perfect your form for squats squats is the foundation I always say it and it's good work for your quads and your glutes as long as you sit nice and deep into it mm -hmm. how you're going to perform the goblet squat I'm gonna hand you a dumbbell you're gonna hold like this big chest back nice and straight perfect form just boom all the way down like nice and deep and then boom okay, okay. so we're gonna do 10 reps to start we're gonna start mega light with 800 pounds Super light. Oh joy. There you go. That's for like you. It's a gift for you. All right. And sit nice and deep into it. Let's get it. So all the way down. There you go. Nice. Good. Stay back. Nice. It's a little deeper. Good. There you go. Be always be conscious to not let your knees come over your toes. Was this five? Yeah. Okay. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Two more. All right. Uno mas. Alas. Easy. Take a breather. How'd that feel? Not too bad, actually. Yeah, easy. She said it was too light. Not too bad, I mean too light. So no, 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 that was too heavy. About like 30 heavy. pounds. <laughs> lightweight. You gotta say lightweight, baby. Lightweight, baby. No, baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Come on, 10. Easy. Come on. Oh, nice and deep. Good. Three. Four. Five, right, come on. Six, nice and deep, there you go. Seven. Last two. Easy, easy. Easy. Easy what? Easy, easy, no. baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> Easy fucking money. Easy money. Easy money, baby. Easy money. Let's get it, last set. Beast mode, 80 reps. Come on. Six, still push your knees out. Seven, deep, deep. Eight, deeper. Nine. Ten.
back straight. Come on. Nice. Good job. Congratulations. You didn't die. Congratulations. Barely. You didn't die. A little lightweight, a little light work. So listen, MikeRasheedTraining.com. I'm training y'all. This is real online private training. We're handling your nutrition, your training, you name it, A to Z. I'm not just writing some shit out. I'm doing the work, I'm giving it to you. Just, I'm gonna be doing it with you. I'm not just training you, I'm training with you. So you gotta get this, all right? Sign up, training. Dot com and guess what? Guess what? What? We up out of here. We out of here. We out.